Who is the worst attention WH Ray you've come across? Sister-in-law. At our wedding she did everything she could to steal attention away from her sister, my wife. She wore a dress that shed had altered to be both low cut and short skirted. Then when no one was paying her attention kept accidentally dropping things so she would bend over to pick them up. When her dad Ray married she was telling people at the ceremony that she had cancer. But had come to terms with it, she didn't have cancer. My fiance has been my best friend since we were kids. Once. In high school. He was dating a girl who decided that after scaring the shti out of him by trying to cuff him to the bed against his will. She was going to threaten to kill herself if he dumped her. About 10 years later I ran into her at a party. She was there with her husband and infant son, not the kind of party you take a baby to. But okay. She proceeded to tell me how they never technically broke up since. Being 15 years old. His answer to if you dump me I'll kill myself was to just stop talking to her. And because of that. They were technically still together and she was cheating on him with her husband. Making her son a bastard. She was 100% serious. And she also told me to tell him she wanted an apology. This was in front of a lot of very stunned people. My roommate's cat died last week. When she told her co-workers. One lady proceeded to start telling a story about a cat she kinda owned that never even lived with her that died 5 plus years ago. She got so worked up that she started crying and the entire office started consoling the co-worker instead of my roommate whose cat had died the day before. Unbelievable. My grandma has to make everything about her. Literally everything. No matter the person or situation. And if the convo switches to where it's not about her. She gets visibly annoyed and you can see the gears turning in her head as she tries to figure out how to get the conversation back onto her. She constantly retells stories she's already told 1000 times back from when she was younger if she can't think of anything recent. If I have to ever again hear about how she was prom queen back in 1951. Or valedictorian of her 10 person 8th grade class. Or how whenever she goes anywhere. Everyone just loves her, she literally says and you know. They just love me all the time. I'm gonna lose it. I knew a girl in college whose father died at least 6 times over the span of one semester. Like. We would be hanging out. And then she gets a call. And then she drops the phone. Her eyes go red. And the waterworks start. There's a girl in my college classes who claims her dad owns a huge soccer team but doesn't know the name. She's dating one of the LA Lakers but can't give his name out. But she is also talking to someone who's in the NFL to keep her options open. There was a girl who used to be part of this group of friends that I saw on the odd occasion when I was a teen. I only met her twice. But on both occasions she started to full on sing super loud whenever everybody else was talking and she was not involved in the conversation. There was this British TV show about bad moms and one of them made her daughter dress way older than she looked. Daughter wanted to wear a t-shirt and jeans to go out to eat. Mom made her wear tights. Mini skirt. Boots. Tight tee. Sleeveless overcoat. And a boatload of jewelry. Kid basically looked like she was in a Disney show and would make her daughter randomly sing and do her cheer routine in public because you never know who's watching. People get discovered on the streets every day. Anyone who checks in at the hospital on Facebook. Back in early elementary school during art I used to talk shti about my own art to get a lot of compliments from other students. My teacher noticed it and told me to stop. I once did that and my friend was like oh yeah you're right. It sucks and I felt so betrayed. There was a girl in my college that constantly would say shti. During orientation she told people she was recovering from brain cancer, didn't happen, and was partially deaf, she wasn't. She then found out my friend had epilepsy so she started doing these exaggerated tremors. She then would fake seizures all the time for all the years she was there. Which was a pain the butt because I would have to treat them like real ones. She did it once during a power outage for the most attention possible. She did it so often that once 911 hung up on someone calling it in because they knew it was her. Edit. 
since I keep getting comments about 911 hanging up. I feel like I should mention that the person who called was also a dispatcher. The death posts on our teenagers. I told my daughter to jump off a cliff. And when she did. She died. I'm so distraught right now. Girl in college would constantly try to get attention Oh, my boyfriend dumped me. My new guy beats me. I'm gay. I'm not gay. I own a signed Kurt Cobain bass guitar but by far the worst one I was up head and the guy got sent to prison gave people a paper cut out of our pay case but it looked odd. So I tracked it down using the google and found she had altered it and it was some other girl. We all cut ties with her after that. My high school ex posted a picture of a knife to his wrist on twitter after I broke up with him for cheating on me and being pathological liar. He told everyone to message me and to talk to him. I cut off all contact, or he was going to kill himself. I hate that I was young and dumb. Alright. In high school. My buddy was banging this girl who told everyone she got shot. I asked her to see the bullet wound and she pulled her shirt down a little so I could see her shoulder. You know what was F King covering her wound? One single ace bandaid. Edit. Bonus story. So she told my buddy he got her pregnant. Condom did rip. So believable. She told him she wanted an abortion and needed $60 for it. He gave it to her. But I asked her how she was going to get it for $60. She said she was going to the hospital with a fake ID. Edit 2. I forgot the worst of all. She got a shot. You know those vaccines are as bad as bullets. Got two gems. One. A high school friend. When his girlfriend talked about ending the relationship he sent her a picture of him pointing his dad's gun to his head saying the typical if you leave I'll kill myself. And he always pulled that sort of drama antics. 2. High school graduation party at hotel. They gave out sparkling wine without alcohol. I saw peeps chugging down glasses and then acting like they were really drunk. There was no bar or alcohol included in the party. In hindsight. They were cringy at fck. My ex sister in law made up a story that she had cancer. Three separate times. To try to get sympathy attention. My two ex friends. They dated in high school. Were forced to split because she was legal age. 19. And he was 15. Got back together and just made a bunch of bad choices together. Engaged after a month. And just constantly crying for attention. Everything he also cooks, microwaves, goes on to Facebook and Snapchat with annoying voiceovers of her going a so so good. Constant posts of a sigh oh my god I love my baby so much with lovey dovey photos of them. But they fight and also break up more than anyone I have ever known. If he pissed her off she text me a picture of her engagement ring being taken off. They thought a friend snapchatting a picture outside of their house and not going to see them meant he had to be planning on killing himself. Proceeded to spam all their mutuals with panicked messages until they found out it was basically just to oh, so hey look I was in your town pick. A little touchy but here goes nothing. My brother was in a toxic relationship. He was physically and mentally being abused, not as so early. He did manage to get his abusive girlfriend pregnant. It got to a point where he was actually crying because he just needed to come home with me to our mom. That was the last straw for me so I said fck it. Come with me. So he grabbed his stuff. And we literally ran from her. She was throwing his stuff out the door and screaming. We kept running. But. Then she yelled. If you don't come back right now. I'm going to stick a knife in my pregnant belly. I wish I was making this up. We of course ran back to prevent this. So yeah. That. A friend joined me and two others in the Philippines for a couple weeks despite her never having traveled before and despite her having 12,000 words to write while for uni we're there. About 5 days and she goes storming off in El Nido in the pouring rain in the dark and claims she's tired. We tell her not to go but by this point she's been crying and complaining about the trip all week. She's staying in a different room so we didn't hear from her until the next day because reception told us she had checked out but left her watch behind. She wrote on Facebook we had been leaving her out, not true, 
and not being considerate towards her injury, a small graze on her leg, and we weren't being supportive with her uni work, Aka not doing it for her. Oh and by the way we're all around 26. This girl in 8th grade claimed she was depressed and suicidal she was popular so everyone believed her and felt bad for her. She got all kinds of attention for it. There was this kid in the same grade who was actually depressed and he tried hanging himself on a doorknob in the back of our class when no one was looking one day and in an odd way he became popular after because of it. She decided to do the same one day in class except no one noticed her doing it until she was passed out and had to go to the emergency room. There was a chick in my high school who faked pregnancy. Claimed to do drugs in the restroom with her drug buddies. And then told people I was the father. I never had sex with her because I kind of had the gay. This kid who's chilled out by now and I'm good friends with once was a huge attention wh re. One day he walked up to our table while we were peacefully playing smash and pulled out one of those rolls of minty tape. That's what I call them. Meant to make your breath minty and says. College and HS. Lots of them. Girls and guys that would act drunker than they were at parties or bars to get more attention and get away with doing shti then falling back on the I drank too much excuse. High school it was more obnoxious and obvious. Just more prevalent in college. They had worked out the kinks by then so it was harder to tell if they were faking it or actually just hammered. I have used the excuse myself. Amazing how people actually buy that when you are young. Semicolon. They were more along the lines of attention slts. No one was paying them. My cat. Lap hops around the room to find the best one. His best score was when the best lap was next to the best pets. My ex. When I told a friend to go check up on her because she kept posting suicidal shti on her egg story. She immediately said I was stalking her. Bro. I literally just checked on you. A girl I know is always sick with something or other. She is also always whinging about how the surgeons tell her she doesn't need operations. She persists though until she gets them. It's not a pain pill thing. Purely attention. All she talks about is how terrible hers is and she can't work because of it. Then a month later we never hear about the first problem again and she now has ABC. She's managed to get two shoulder operations. Knee Rico and an endo op. Surprise surprise the surgeon said she looked fine when they opened her up and she's never complained about those things ever again and now has other things to wrong which conveniently only affect her when she wants something. My aunt deliberately lost her benefits card to a grocery store just to scream about it to other customers and get the cashier fired because she was feeling lonely that her husband wouldn't get her a new dog. So far. The worst attention wh ray I've encountered is a girl in my class. She goes out of her way to cause drama with both students and teachers. Purely for her own entertainment. It's so ridiculous and gets really over the top most of the time. The most memorable drama she's caused in my eyes is with a substitute teacher in Italian. She rarely pays attention and lote and often ignores instructions from my normal teacher. So this is pretty predictable. He had her phone out and of course. That day we had probably one of the most grumpy and strict teachers I've ever met. She refused to hand over her phone and did some extreme talking back. The teacher got so mad that she threatened a detention and a plethora of other punishments. But even when she was sent to Ray Think, the title is self-explanatory, she refused. She left the class and came back repeatedly, it was one of the most frustrating things I've ever witnessed. Quite surprisingly. She got away with a lunch detention. Even after talking back. Refusing to leave. Arguing to a teacher and causing drama. I know this is extremely late to the party but I'll post anyway. I had a very good friend that was an attentionaholic. He left on summer vacation to visit his family in Vermont. We were in the 10th grade. Comma I call him a few weeks into his trip just to catch up and see how it is out there. He says pretty good. I donated my liver to my dying grandmother two days ago. As a thank you my grandpa bought me a dirt bike. I said. Cool lol if you bring it back we can ride together. He replied. I can't I already wrecked it and it's in the shop. 
knew a girl in high school that claimed to have did. So you never knew who you were talking to. It was literally a that wasn't me. That was Patricia situation. We all knew she was faking because there was always holes in her stories. Mixing up details with the different personalities on top of a new character every week to blame her actions on. We just gave her the benefit of the doubt. 10 years later she never mentions any of them again. Oh yeah and she told me she as a 10th grader got paid to train horses to do tricks for like circus shti. Then forgot about it the next day I brought it up. As an cringy ex-horse girl this one was the worst lie of all. I know a kid who faked. Terminal. Brain cancer. He posted on Facebook about his cancer. Everyone in school thought he had cancer. Even his closest friends. He was living in a friend's house whose family bent over backwards for him. He tried to take his own life unsuccessfully and while in the hospital the friend checked his laptop. I guess for a note or something. Or maybe he outed himself? Comma and it was just full of searches about how to fake cancer. I just feel so sorry for everyone involved in that situation. My sister came out as a vegetarian during a dinner with extended family at a steakhouse. This dinner had been semi-regular for years. Same sister brought her home tune crafts to the family dinner the evening before my wedding to show off. That one's on film. The day of the actual wedding. She snapped off a chunk of my hair while using a curling iron. Note. She's a licensed hairdresser, and spent the reception wailing about how I was getting married first. We were both well under 25. And she took another 9 years to meet a decent fellow anyway. This girl I know would trip and would make a big scene about it she would even overdo tripping and then she says wow no one saw that. Then she talks about how no one in our town likes her and that the only time people talk to her is when they need her help. Well she is extremely obnoxious. Like if someone laughs at her jokes she would like say it over and over again. I went to high school with a girl who told everyone that she shoved different candy bars up herself when masturbating. Karma farmers. Ahem. I've been practicing. Here goes nothing. Clears throat. A co-worker of mine. Try to tell him anything and he is ready to bounce back with a. Me too. This happened to me too. And I end up listening to his version of the story. Annoying to talk to someone who never listens but only hears to remember a similar thing happening to him. No sympathy. No empathy. Nothing whatsoever. My father talking for hours and hours just so people will pay attention to him. He also yells at nurses because they won't listen to him. I didn't chose him as my father so I refuse to play his mind games. My mom has stayed him and he has continued to make my life. And everybody else's life. Complete hell because he is prefect. And needs everybody to do for him because he has a hard life. FCK off and die already please. Donald Trump. My dad's wife who manages to constantly confuse drama with happiness. P.S. she's like 75. This is kind of ironic right now. Anyone who calls themselves an influencer. Our boss was throwing a Tupperware party at her house. Kill me now. And those who were invited had to keep it on the DL since not everybody was. A few of us were talking about it in the break room when a woman who we knew was not invited walked in. As soon as she realized what we had been talking about she immediately doubled over and clutched her stomach. Crying I'm in so much pain. And faked a stomach ache. I thought it was interesting that this woman was totally fine throughout the day but was in so much pain whenever the party she wasn't invited to was mentioned. Giving her an excuse not to go. But making sure all eyes were on her. Maybe this is why she wasn't invited.